Hi everyone, it's Rose again, and today I just want to talk about religion. Religion is something that has been very important in my life. Um, my family is very religious. I have a lot of religious friends, and um, <laughs> two years ago I made a video about what conclusions I had found the Bible to make on what it means to be queer, and I kind of forgot about the trans community in that video, and so here I am, after having come out as trans, I just want to talk about what the Bible says about being transgender. That's it. <laughs> the Bible says absolutely nothing about being transgender. Transgender people have existed all throughout history. There are plenty of documentations of trans people existing throughout different cultures, and um, in different places of the world. Feel free to look that up. Um, Native culture here in America definitely has um, a very eye-opening view of what it means to be transgender or two-spirited, as many of them call us. Um, <laughs> in the Bible, however, there are a few verses that people try to use in order to claim that my identity is wrong and that I am going to hell for being me. <laughs> In Leviticus, it states that um, men and women should not cross-dress and wear each other's clothing. Um, as a woman, um, I don't feel like I'm breaking this commandment by wearing women's clothing, and neither are trans men who are real men. Let's just look at clothing throughout history. People wore robes, and I don't know how they designated male robes versus female robes, Maybe the colors of the fabric, which were very few, or maybe the length, maybe the amount of skin showing, I don't know. Didn't do that much research into what they were wearing. But if we look at modern clothing, it's definitely changed. Heels were invented for men. Men wanted to wear heels, or they made heels in order to sit on a stirrup in a horse, so then the heel would um, stay in the stirrup so they don't, they're less likely to fall off of a horse. And then fashion changed, wars happened, and now heels are for women. So are women who wear heels, are we all going to hell for that? I don't think that's what the Bible is stating. Additionally, as I've said in my previous video about religion, most modern Christians and Jews don't follow the laws of Leviticus. I don't know <laughs> any Christian that's not eating shellfish simply because the Bible says to, or not wearing mixed fabrics for that same reason. <laughs> In Deuteronomy, it also says that we should not harm ourselves or cut open our bodies. I definitely agree that self-harm is a serious problem, one that I have overcome and dealt with in my past. That is something that I do agree with in the Bible. I don't think people should self-harm if they can. Um, however, I also don't view life-saving operations to be mutilation or harmful. Surgeries related to gender-affirming transitions are life-saving. Surgery can create a euphoria that will prevent certain people from committing suicide. According to the National Center for Transgender Equality and the National LGBTQ Task Force, 41% of all trans people will attempt or commit suicide. 41%, that's almost half of us. Half of my brothers and sisters are gonna attempt suicide because of the way our society perceives us. People are dying every single day. Trans women have a 1 in 12 chance of dying. 1 in 12 of us, and then 1 in 8 trans women of color are going to be murdered this year looking more feminine or more masculine, whatever you're trying to transition towards, can be life-saving. With all of this in mind, there are a few ver verses in the Bible that may point to affirming gender transitions. Galatians 3, 26 through 28 states that in Christ we are all one. We are all children of God. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for we are all alone in Jesus Christ. Now, I know verses can be taken out of context, but when people are trying to argue against queer identities, they have to take the Bible very, very seriously and literally. And if we're taking this verse literally, Jesus doesn't care about your gender. Jesus doesn't care male, female, trans, agender, bigender. It doesn't matter. 
the Bible also teaches people not to lie. This is, my identity is my own. I'm the only one that can tell you who I am. I am the person that defines myself. I have done a lot of soul searching and this is the thing that makes the most sense. I don't want to lie. Do not force me to lie because that is a sin in the Bible. I don't plan on discussing religion on my YouTube channel again. If you need more resources or more information, feel free to message me. I'll include a few links in the description box below. There are plenty of resources out there. There are other YouTubers who are gladly there to talk to you about being trans and being Christian. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like. I'll see you all next time.